Hello, and welcome to your first day of being a level zero character in an upcoming Dungeon Crawl Classics or DCC RPG adventure. We here at Corporate Crash Course are ready and willing to provide you with the knowledge you will need to be successful. Let me be the first to say, congratulations! You have been selected as a team from amongst your peers to take part in what will be an incredibly thrilling adventure. Before you get out there killing monsters and taking names, there's some things you need to know first. Whoa! What are these dice? I've never seen this many in my standard tabletop RPG. There's too many of them, and I'm scared! Don't panic just yet. Science has determined that the more math rocks you have in your game, the more fun you're having. DCC RPG has the most dice, and thus has been proven empirically to be the most fun RPG. Period. This is the Dice Chain TM. This mechanic functions based on how well you are performing, allowing you to roll even higher numbers when you're doing well, but restricting you to lower numbers when you're in a tight spot. You move up or down the chain when making checks while adventuring, in combat, or casting spells at the whim of your judge, so be sure to tell them how lovely they look today. Now let's discuss your qualifications as an adventurer. You'll be judged on six key attributes. Strength. How tightly you can hold a sandwich. Agility. How quickly you can eat a sandwich. Stamina. How many sandwiches you can eat without vomiting. Personality. How well you can sell a sandwich. Intelligence. How accurately you can name the sandwich. And luck. How likely the sandwich is to kill you. Each score is determined by a random roll of 3d6. Based on your result, you will have an ability modifier as shown here. This value will be added to or subtracted from your die roll for a required check. Next up, saving throws. Ever try to dodge a trap or dive out of the way of falling debris? Your reflexes will determine if you're able to do so. For now, your reflex save uses the same modifier as your agility. Find a mysterious substance or head for some dazzling lights? Your fortitude will help you minimize the damage. Your stamina modifier will be used for fortitude saves. Ever find yourself thinking things that aren't your own, or being compelled to take action against your will? Your willpower save represents your ability to overcome these malicious thoughts. It's your stellar personality modifier that will keep you safe. But best of all, those of you who make it back in one piece will see your saving throws improve. When asked to make a saving throw, Roll the die indicated by your judge, and add or subtract the required modifier. The judge will compare it with a value they've made up on the spot, and will tell you if you are successful. It's up to you to narrate your experience from there. If you've been following along so far, congratulations, you know the common language. However, you may come across many other strange languages during your adventure. For those of you who are clever enough, you also know additional languages equal to your intelligence modifier. If you can't remember which languages you know, please refer to Appendix L. And to our demi-humans, don't forget you also know your racial language, provided you have at least eight intelligence. Next, we discover what you've been doing before being plucked for this wonderful opportunity. We want to know about your occupation, but if you're too shy to tell us, you can roll on this chart, which will provide you with one, along with a free weapon and other item. Your occupation will dictate what sort of activities you have been trained in, or what you can convince your judge you've been trained in, in order to get to roll those higher math rocks. Do you like to follow the rules, or make the quantum physics of the universe shatter at your whim? Or do you simply not care? Welcome to the world of alignment! The forces of law and chaos control everything in the known universe, and potentially those in the unknown universe as well. Choose wisely as this will dictate your potential patrons in the future. Or don't, I'm not your parental figure. Now we need to know how hardy you are. Roll a d4 and add or subtract your stamina modifier. The resulting value is your hit point maximum. When you inevitably get injured by monsters, traps, or take a bad fall, you'll lose hit points. Be careful, if you drop to zero, that's an early retirement for you. Finally. I know you've all been working hard to save up the 5d12 copper pieces you've brought with you, and now it's time to put that money to good use. 
We sell all manner of adventuring goods to get you started. We'll even throw in one free item determined by rolling a d24 on the equipment table. Now hold on, champ. I'm sure you think you have it all figured out and are ready to give the bad guys what for, but we've left out potentially the most important thing to determine. Your birth auger and lucky roll. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe you'll die. The only way to find out is to roll a d30 with your luck modifier. This result will haunt you through the rest of your life. Or may have no effect whatsoever. The possibilities are endless. Congratulations! You are now ready to go out and be an active member of an adventuring team. The world is full of many threats, and there is a very high likelihood you won't make it. But those of you with enough ingenuity and will may live long enough to be promoted to first level, rewarding you with your choice of class. Sorry, demi-humans. Corporate Crash Course is not responsible for injuries related to adventuring, including but not limited to slashing, stabbing, decapitation, poisoning, petrification, forced removal of entrails, loss of eyes, ritual sacrifice to the other gods.